Now releasing all goblins. Nanka! This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. with free weekly content and free shipping on orders over $150. You can save 5% site wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic goblin gang. Hey gang, and welcome back. I'm slowly starting to feel better. And in today's game, Max has decided to bring his two best friends, even though they're imaginary, with Peer and Toothy. He's got a breeding pool, an island, Hinterland Harbor, Glass Pool Mimic, Three Visits, Spike Weaver, and Aestheticism. Mika is playing the Big Athreos, keeping a Terramorphic Expanse, Malakir Rebirth, Grim Monolith, Rakasha Debaser, Exquisite Blood, Return to Dust, and Caves of Koilos. Eric is playing Zask, keeping a Swamp, Forest, Grim Harrisfex, Canoptech Tomb Sentinel, Species Specialist, Springleaf Avenger, and Mortuary. I am playing Diata Oops All Spells, basically, keeping Swamp, Ruinous Blast, Burgi God of Storytelling, Arid Mesa, Cabal Coffers, Gilded Lotus, and Temple of Triumph. Max wins the die roll and starts us off. He draws and plays a tap breeding pool. Mika plays a Terramorphic Expanse. Eric's just got a Swamp. I draw, playing a tap Temple of Triumph, and scry one to the bottom. As I pass, Mika cracks the Expanse to find a Plains. Max plays a Command Tower, and then pays two to cast three visits, going to find a Forest. Mika plays a Caves of Koilos, and also pays two mana to ramp with a Grim Monolith. Eric's got a Forest return, and has enough mana to cast a Plague Stinger. I draw and play an Arid Mesa. Max plays his Hinterland Harbor, and he then plays out Toothy, while I crack the Mesa, losing one to find a Smoldering Marsh. After that, he passes. Mika draws and plays a Swamp. He's got enough mana to cast Athreos, and moves to his end step, putting a coin counter onto the Plague Stinger before passing to Eric. Eric draws for turn, and goes to combat. He swings the Plague Stinger at Mika for revenge for one poison damage, but with no land to play, has to pass. I draw, and play a Swamp. I then cast Burgi, and pass. Max draws and puts a counter onto Toothy, and then plays an island for turn. He then plays out Pier, and swings Toothy at Eric. Eric takes the hit, and Max passes after that. Mika draws and plays a Plains. He then taps one for a Soul Ring, and then taps 4 mana for a Solemn Simulacrum, going to find a basic to put into play tapped. Moving to his end step, he gets to put a coin counter onto Burgi this time, and passes to Eric. Eric draws but still can't find a land. Going to combat, he swings the Plague Stinger at Maximus for one who takes the poison. Eric then moves to discard, and passes to me. I draw and play a Plains. I then cast Diata, and get a red mana from Burgi, and then down tick my Planeswalker. I hit three lands and a mana vault, making four treasures. With the floating red from Burgi, I use it to help cast Cathartic Reunion, discarding two, and drawing three. I then pass after that. Maximus draws, and puts two counties onto Toothy, thanks to Pur being out. He then plays a forest, and casts Aestheticism. Moving to combat, Toothy goes at Mika this time, and in response, Mika casts Malakir Rebirth and targets the Solemn Simulacrum. He loses two life, and Chump blocks with it, which brings the Solemn back into play, and draws a card, and then goes to find a land. With nothing else, Max passes. Mika draws and plays a Swamp. He plays out the Rakasha Debaser we knew he had in his opening hand, and then passes, putting a counter onto the debaser at the end of turn. Eric draws and finally hits a land on turn 5. 
He then pays three mana for Out of the Tombs and passes to me. I draw and uptick Diata in my main phase to give Bergy a bunch of keywords. I then swing Bergy at Mika, who blocks the Debaser, and I gain three. I then cast Demonic Tutor in my second main phase to go and find a land, and then play an Urborg and pass. Max draws and plays Turn Timber Symbiosis as the land side, but has it come in tapped. He then plays a Spike Weaver before moving to combat. He swings Toothy at Eric, who chumps with the Plague Stinger, removing some of Toothy's counters thanks to Infect. With the Plague Stinger dying, Mika gets it because it had a coin counter onto it, and with nothing else, Maximus passes. Mika draws and plays a Swamp. Going to combat, he swings the Plague Stinger at me and the Debaser at Eric. Which on attack, reanimates Eric's Phyrexian Swarmlord. The creatures then connect with people gaining some infect, and in his post-combat main phase, Mika casts Dusk Mangler and sacrifices the Plague Stinger so that we'll all sacrifice a creature, discard a card, and lose 4 life. This has me sacrificing Bergy, and Max sacrifices Peer. With the Athreos trigger to return Bergy on the stack, I channel Takanuma, Million three, and then return Bergy to my hand. Moving to his end step, Mika then puts a coin counter onto the Dusk Mangler and passes. Eric's out of the tombs triggers, and he puts two counters on it and then mills two and draws for turn. He then plays out old Rutstein and passes to me. I draw and play a Cabal Coffers. I'm able to activate it for 6 black mana and use it to help cast a Gilded Lotus. I then downtick Diata, taking Gyreach Sanitarium and binning the 3 other cards and making 3 treasures. I follow it up by casting Dark Petition with Spell Mastery, getting 3 black mana and going to find a card. I let the black mana dissipate though as I pass to Max. Max draws, and in his main phase, plays an Avenger of Zendikar, making 7 plant tokens. He then plays a Tangle Pool Bridge, putting a plus 1 plus 1 counter onto each of his plants, and then goes to combat. He swings Toothy at Mika, who trades with the Dusk Mangler, and the Mangler then re-enters and re-triggers. Max sacrifices a plant token, while Eric and I have no creatures to sacrifice, but we all discard a card, and also lose 4. Max also draws 4 cards because he sacrifices Toothy, and then passes to Mika after that. On his upkeep, Mika makes 3 Infect Insect tokens from the Swarmlord trigger, and draws. He plays a Plains for turn, and moves to combat. He swings the Swarmlord at Diata, and the Debaser at Eric again. With the On Attack trigger, and he targets the Canoptech Tomb Sentinel. Responding to the targeting, Mika casts Return to Dust to exile Maximus' Aestheticism, and the Tomb Sentinel then enters and exiles Max's Spike Weaver. Moving to his end step, Mika then puts a coin counter onto the Tomb Sentinel and passes. Eric mills 4 thanks to Out of the Tombs and draws. He's got no land to play and has to pass. I draw for turn and play a Battlefield Forge. I then play Bolas' Citadel, and then replay Bergy. I follow it up with the Painful Truths, paying with red, white, and black mana, losing 3, and getting 3 cards, and getting a red floating mana from Bergy. I then cast a Mox Amber, going up to 2 floating red mana. I use my red floating and a treasure to help cast Shreds of Sanity. Returning Lapse of Sanity and Demonic Tutor to my hand while discarding a Dragon Skull Summit. I then recast the Demonic Tutor and go to find a card. I then look at my top card thanks to the Citadel, but with nothing to cast, I pass to Max. Maximus draws and plays a Glass Pool Mimic in his main phase, copying the Avenger of Zendikar. He makes 8 more plant tokens, 
and then place a Spark Double, coming in also as an Avenger of Zendikar for 8 more plant tokens. He follows up with all those Avengers by playing a Castle Garenbrig, and getting to put 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters onto all of his plans. He then casts a Farseek, going to find an island and putting 3 more plus 1 plus 1 counters onto his plans. Going to combat, Maximus swings his 6, 7, 8 plants that can attack at Mika. Mika blocks with his insects, Dusk Mangler, and Solemn Simulacrum, which, as the Solemn dies, draws him a card, and Mika then takes 14. With all that done, Maximus passes, and during his end step, Mika pays 4 to untap the Grim Monolith. Mika draws and plays his own Cabal Coffers. Since he can benefit from my Urborg, he's able to tap it to help cast Exquisite Blood. He then goes to combat. He swings the Debaser at Eric, and the Swarm Lord and Tomb Sentinel at me. And in response to the Debaser trigger targeting, Eric casts Footbottom Feast to draw a card, and lets Mika get the Species Specialist, which comes in naming Plant. Mika then gains 10 life from Exquisite Blood as we take the hit, and he passes to Eric. Eric mills 6 and then draws for turn, finally finding another land, and plays an Evolving Wilds. He then casts Canoptex Scarab Swarm, and excels my graveyard. This makes Eric 11 insect tokens, and with a decent amount of blockers, he passes. Maximus' board is terrifying at this point, and I draw and play a Godless Shrine, taking 2 so it comes in untapped. I get very lucky, casting a Mana Geyser, and have a Reiterate sitting on top of my library, paying the 3 life as well as the 3 mana to buy back it so that I'm able to generate infinite red mana. At this point, I'm able to dump all of that mana into a massive Exsanguinate and win the game before I die to plant tokens. Game review time. So Eric hitting my graveyard the turn before the last one where I won was actually surprisingly critical as I'd tutored for Yogmoth's will to hopefully start casting stuff back from my graveyard and storming off. I got super lucky drawing the Mana Geyser, and even luckier still with the Reiterate on top. Alternatively, I think I would have been okay had there been a board wipe, but Maximus's board state was just so outrageous, and you know he was going to play at least one more land to pump his entire plant army by plus 3 plus 3 at least. Maximus even said that he doesn't typically go so hard on Avenger of Zendikar, but when a plan comes together you gotta commit to it. And with the two clones in hand, it certainly made for an interesting board state. Mika's Aftheros deck did exactly what I expected it to do, which is put coins on stuff, get value from things dying, and potentially trying to steal stuff. I'm pretty sure my interaction with Takanuma and Bergy works, because it does go in the stack so I would have had a chance to respond, but I may have made a mistake there. This is the game that led me to smack talk Eric about a Zass deck, and I played it directly after this, and the game's already gone up before this one, so you know I did better with it. Unfortunately, he just got no lands that game, and by the time that he was able to start filling up his graveyard, he was actually milling more lands than he was drawing them and playing them, which is really rough. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, Friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.